So let's take a look at what this looks like. This is a dog that has been misidentified as a wolf by an AI algorithm. The researchers want to know, why did this particular husky get misidentified as a wolf? So they rewrote the algorithm to explain to them the parts of the picture it was paying attention to when the AI algorithm made its decision. In this picture, what do you think it paid attention to? What would you pay attention to? Maybe the eyes, maybe the ears, the snout. This is what it paid attention to. Mostly the snow in the background of the picture. You see, there was bias in the data set that was fed to this algorithm. Most of the pictures of wolves were in snow. So the AI algorithm conflated the presence of absence of snow for the presence or absence of a wolf. The scary thing about this is the researchers had no idea this was happening until they rewrote the algorithm to explain itself. And that's the thing with AI algorithms, deep learning, machine learning. Even the developers who work on this stuff have no idea what it's doing. So that might be a great example from research. But what does this mean in the real world? The Compass criminal sentencing algorithm is used in 13 states to determine criminal recidivism, or the risk of committing a crime again after you're released. ProPublica found that if you're African American, Compass was 77% more likely to qualify you as a potentially violent offender than if you're a Caucasian. This is a real system being used in the real world by real judges to make decisions about real people's lives. Why would the judges trust it? if it seems to exhibit bias. Well, the reason they use Compass is because it is a model for efficiency. Compass lets them go through caseloads much faster in a backlogged criminal justice system. Why would they question their own software? It's been requisitioned by the state, approved by their ID department. Why would they question it? Well, the people sentenced by Compass have questioned it and their lawsuits should chill us all. The Wisconsin State Supreme Court ruled that Compass did not deny a defendant due process provided it was used properly. In the same set of rulings, they ruled that a defendant could not inspect the source code of Compass. It has to be used properly, but you can't inspect the source code. This is a disturbing set of rulings when taken together for anyone facing criminal sentencing. Now, you may not care about this because you're not facing criminal sentencing. But what if I told you that black box AI algorithms like this are being used to decide whether or not you can get a loan for your house, whether you get a job interview, whether you get Medicaid, and are even driving cars and trucks down the highway? Would you want the public to be able to inspect the algorithm that's trying to make a decision between a shopping cart and a baby carriage and a self-driving truck. The same way the dog-wolf algorithm was trying to decide between a dog or a wolf. Are you potentially a metaphorical dog who's been misidentified as a wolf by somebody's AI algorithm? Considering the complexity of people, it's possible. Is there anything you can do about it now? Probably not. And that's what we need to focus on. 